This short video is intended to explain what TD Direct is to some users who may be familiar with our other products. I will step through some explanations and then show a quick demonstration. In the big picture, TD Direct is one aspect to CRTEC's thermal centric modeling. It allows users to go quickly from a designer's CAD drawings to a working thermal model and thermal desktop by rapidly creating finite element meshes. TD Direct is an add-in to SpaceClaim Engineer, usually just called SpaceClaim, which is easy to use CAD software. Thermal engineers are generally not CAD experts, which makes SpaceClaim an ideal choice. Instead of using complex feature trees, SpaceClaim uses direct modeling, which continuously recognizes the actual geometry. The simple and intuitive interface means that thermal engineers can import, simplify, and heal geometry quickly to take it from design geometry to analysis geometry. Alternatively, it may be easier for the thermal engineer to create the analysis geometry from a few key edges or surfaces. The thermal mesh is created in a thermal desktop model through a dynamic link. Mesh density, curvature refinement, and element shape can be defined at global or local levels. Swept meshes can be created from edge to edge across a surface, or surface to surface across a solid, like this twisted lobe gear. We can also put identical meshes on contacting objects to ensure precise thermal contact. Coming in version 5.7, we can provide curved elements, mesh quality controls, and surface-only meshes. In TD Direct, users apply tags that will assign properties to the mesh in Thermal Desktop. For example, users can set objects to specific submodels, define the radiation analysis groups, set the material and optical properties and other properties. Every time a mesh is created from this geometry, it will include these properties, which means it is ready to go as soon as the mesh is generated. Domains are powerful tags that allow users to denote a particular part of the geometry. It may be an edge, a surface, or solid, or a subset of any of those. This domain will be broken into many nodes and elements in Thermal Desktop as a mesh, but those nodes and elements can still be referred to collectively by the domain name. The domains can be used for contactors, heat loads, or editing groups of objects. In this rather silly example, we can draw or project the image of a Circle K brand onto a cow. Then we add a domain called brand to the subsurface. In Thermal Desktop, this subsurface becomes its own mesh, and we can apply a heat load to the domain brand as a group, instead of trying to select all the individual surfaces. Now we come to the fun part. There are always revisions to models. Certainly if the design geometry changes significantly, the thermal model must be updated. But we also revise our models as we run them and discover areas of concern. It can take a significant amount of time to update thermal models, which is why thermal engineering is often not included early in design phases when design changes outpace the speed the thermal engineer can update the model and get meaningful results. TD Direct is designed to speed up this process. Once the initial thermal model is created, the thermal engineer need only make changes in TD Direct, resynchronize the models, and run the cases. All of the tags are retained. Properties do not need to be reassigned. Contactors and other operations made in Thermal Desktop using domains are retained. Here are a few images showing a gear that was meshed, pushed and pulled into a different shape, and immediately remeshed. Now I will do a short demonstration to show the basic workflow. I'll start in TD Direct and open the design geometry of an oil pan in step file format. You can see this design geometry has unnecessary detail that we don't need to capture in a thermal mesh. I'll start by simplifying. I can easily select holes and rounds and use the fill tool to have them automatically removed.
I can use the selection bar to speed this up by selecting holes of the same or smaller diameter, for example. That's the basics of simplifying geometry, and now I will just skip ahead to a fully simplified version like this is some sort of cooking show. With the simplified version, I can add a specific submodel and material to the solids. And then I can select all the faces on the solid and specify the radiation analysis groups and optical properties. I'll select this front face and add a domain to that. That will make it very easy for me to use a contactor on those surface elements later. I'll also add a domain where this will mount to the engine block. Then I will go to Thermal Desktop, where I already have a few objects drawn, and I'll create a link to the TDDirect file and check the box to generate a mesh. I've cut about one minute from the video for meshing time. We haven't defined a particular purpose for this mesh, so I will conveniently assume the mesh density is perfect. The first thing I'll do is create a contactor. I'll start with the domain I already made on these little red blocks that are supposed to represent some fitting. And then I'll select the domain I created in TD Direct. The contactor looks just like any other contactor, except it is between domains that represent surface elements instead of those surface elements directly. Now I will isolate the individual domains using the Domain Manager, so you can see how the single domain tag turned into a marker for groups of elements. Now let's go back to TD Direct, and I'll make a few changes. First, I'll thicken the base of the oil pan. And then I will change the diameter here. I'll return to Thermal Desktop, resynchronize the mesh, cut another minute out of the video, and show the results. Even though the mesh was deleted and replaced, because I used domains, the contactors are still in place. To review, a TD Direct document is linked to a Thermal Desktop model, and because of that we can allow for rapid model generation and revisions. It creates finite element meshes that are optimized for thermal engineering and loads them directly into the thermal model. TD Direct is an add-in to Space Claim Engineer, which is a CAD system that is easy to learn and use because it continually recognizes the geometry without the use of a feature tree. Operations are simple and intuitive. This has just been an overview, but there is so much more to learn about Space Claim and TD Direct.
We have other videos, and SpaceClaim also offers many instructional videos. Our manual includes tutorials to help learn some basics, and we offer free trials on our software. Please contact us with any questions. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you to understand what TG Direct does.